Alright guys, what I'm going to quickly discuss now is the serratus reach exercise. Some people refer to it as the serratus crunch. Um, it is a crunch side motion, I just prefer to call it a reach. Um, because that's what you're trying to do, is you're actually trying to reach uh, vertically as opposed to crunching forward. You are going to crunch forward, but you want to limit the amount of forward flexion that you get on the exercise. Um, so basically, we'll start off body weight loaded. So feet in place, flat on the ground, head in contact, shoulders in contact with the ground. What we'll start off with is a two-handed serratus reach. So arms basically held vertical, which means the hand directly over the shoulder, eyes focused on the ceiling, chin ever so slightly tucked. Okay, so we don't want to be back like this. All right, so chin slightly tucked. Now from here, we're gonna reach up and then back down. So reach up and hold, reach up, hold, and back down. Reach up, hold, and back down. Okay, so I'm not crunching forward <laughs> like this, okay? I'm basically reaching straight up towards the ceiling, and then back down. Reaching up and hold it. Okay, so I'm limiting the amount of crunch or flexion that's going on uh, with the exercise. Next thing that I can do is use a dumbbell, um, kettlebell, whatever you want to do. When I do these, any type of loaded, what I like to do is I like to isolate it to one side at a time. Alright, so what I'll basically do, I'm going to do my right arm, the right side of the body, hamstress. And what I'll do with the left hand though, the serratus muscles run through here, so I'll run my fingers over the serratus muscles. This hand goes straight up, and then I do my serratus reach. Okay, so I'll take my kettlebell here, straight up overhead. side, hands on the serratus muscles, chin ever so slightly tucked, eyes on the ceiling, arm lock, okay, so it's important with this particular exercise, the serratus reach, that you limit the amount of flexion or crunch action that's taking place, that you perform the movement very slow, deliberate, no jerky type motion, and um, that you keep that arm locked straight and pointing vertical, you don't want to be reaching forward as you, as you come up um, into the position. Alright, so again, come up, hold, let that breath out on the way up, come back down under control, go into the next repetition, all right? So form is what's important here. Again, if you are someone who has, you know, lumbar issues, you know, crunches and things like that, aren't going to be the most ideal exercise to incorporate. They may agitate your condition, all right? So, you know, if you have a quote unquote healthy spine, I'm not sure any of us actually really do, but if you do, if you don't have any uh, injuries that have surfaced, you know, these exercises can be appropriate. Again, with any type of crunch flexion based exercise, it's the degree of flexion involved. That's why I'm saying with this one, don't come up too much. You don't want too much flexion, too much of a crunch motion going on. So it's the degree of flexion involved, the volume of flexion, all right? So we're not gonna do a high volume of, of this work. And then again, it comes down to the frequency of flexion based trainings, all right? So we're gonna keep the degree of flexion low, the volume of flexion work low, and we're not gonna be doing flexion Type abdominal core exercises on a regular basis. We're gonna, you know, incorporate them sparingly throughout the.